Hello and welcome back to, in this case, welcome to the junkyard here in Car Mechanic Simulator 2018. Ordinarily I would start in the garage and then go to the junkyard. I do have a car in the garage that I intend to work on uh, today, but I have been idly bouncing back and forth to the junkyard um, looking for anything else interesting. There are, <laughs> there are two of these things in here. And I'm not going to buy any more of them. I'm really getting sick of working on those. But there are two of them in here, which just kind of surprises me. I checked a little bit. I, I looked it up to see if I could find out how many Bugatti Chirons have actually been manufactured. And it appears there were about 500 of them. I found two different numbers, 450 and 500. I have personally worked on seven of them. And if my math is correct, then I have worked on 1.4% of the entire production run. And God knows I'm just tired of seeing them. But the reason I started here is because I finally found a car I have been looking for since the beginning of this series. And this is the Ford Mustang Mach 1. And I have been searching for one of these to keep because I have built several of these and sold them and never kept one. This one I'm keeping. I wanted, to be, I wanted to be able to show that I actually found this one in the junkyard. Okay, that's bought. Now let's go back to the garage. Okay, so here we are. Uh, before I went to the junkyard, I was kind of a busy beaver. I had I had two of these cars in my parking. And I wanted to pull them out and get them done. They are slightly different. This one is this one here is an SC and it has a supercharged V8 in it. it has a different hood than the standard version, which is over here. This one just has a normal V8 in it as opposed to the other one that I did that had a V6, which I guess is the poor man's version of this car. And that, of course, is the seventh Bugatti Chiron that I have worked on. This one was also apparently stashed away in my parking. I found it in there and I got it out so I can get rid of it. So, let's get rid of these cars and make some space. I want to buy, I want to clear out the other key 
pieces first. go it's not very attractive with that rear end with the hatch like that I'm not real familiar with this model I think I, it looks kind of like the 911 Carrera but not as streamlined although the 911 Carrera actually has a back seat and this one doesn't appear to have one there's no exhaust the exhaust is part of the model. And there's no radiator either.
So this is going to end up being a pretty simple build, I think. The engine is the twin turbo from the 911 Carrera. So, yeah. I don't think I'll leave it white. I wonder if the guy uh, gave it any livery. Nope, appears not. White is... Yeah, let's do that. I like red. I can do I can do pretty much anything. I do kind of wish that there were some more options for paints. Um, like being able to paint pinstripes and things like that. Some accent bits rather than just solid colors. I think the only way you can get that is if there's a livery for a given car. Like the Mustang has the livery with the stripes and the Mustang logo and the Mach 1 logo. But this is a mod car, of course, and it doesn't have any of that. standard tires too, We're definitely not going to leave standard tires on it. With the engine all upgraded, it's going to be way too much for that. from the ground up if you build.
Okay, so 12 bushings. Get tie rods, probably the rack, and the sway bars. Eh, I might even be able to repair that. Why bother? Clutch pieces and the brakes. So that's going to be four calibers and four cylinders. And two of each disc, ventilated for the front, and four brake pads. What else did I just get rid of? I have a feeling I'm forgetting some. Oh yeah, clutch. So there was two front wheel hubs, two rear hub Bs, four wheel bearings, and two hub caps. This is not a four wheel drive car, I just realized. The uh, Carrera, the 911 Carrera is a four wheel drive and this is not. Okay, let's get our, we need to get our shock absorbers built. We'll try to repair the rest of the stuff. So that was two rears, two front A, two of those, two of those, and then we just need our springs. The last one? Yes. Okay, so we can flush the old, the old shocks now. The last thing that needs to happen is to buy the tires. These are all, these are all, no, 265-45. They're all 18-inch wheels, though, so I want to buy four of those. Thirty-five, forty-five, eighteen, and they're going to be racing tires. And then the other ones are two sixty-five, forty-five, eighteen.
make sure I have all the tires correct before I flush the old ones. transmission for the B6A. See, I repaired the old transmission so I could sell it for something more than scrap value. 900 bucks works for me. I got the steering knuckles so those can go. Front axle knuckle cover. sure to get the correct tires in the right place. The 235s go on the front. It's actually starting to look like something now. Parts condition. 
the engine is like more than half of the parts. A head. Those are the heads. And we need the fuel rails. Intake manifold B6A. Throttle B6A. Turbo B6A. And there's two of them. That should no. Need at least two of these camshafts. Yeah, no, there's four. You can see here there's slots there for two. So, and I need like 12 spark plugs too, because the, the other B6 needs 12 spark plugs. Gonna need, no. Probably gonna need an alternator and a few, uh, an alternator and... Gonna need oil pan. This one has an oil pan, which is that. And that. There's probably an alternator like the B6C, or else it uses the regular alternator. I can't remember. Um, I'm thinking, trying to remember what else. Oh yeah, B6 oil, because I want that right there. Which, did I repair? I didn't repair, did I? Let's try this. Still don't even know if I can use these blocks. One of them, okay. Block B, B6A. Now, this should take us a long way before I need to start buying things again. So I have those parts. I have those part lists mostly memorized. I think I've only built. I've built probably three, three of the three of the B6A engines. Whoops. Wants to put the head on now. Okay, 
let's flip this thing over now. So we did make quite a bit of progress there. Okay, okay so I need now a whole bunch of little bits. B6A cam gears. of these camshaft caps. I saw that it needs it doesn't need the B6 alternator. It uses, needs his blip. Can't talk today. It just needs the generic alternator. Roll workers. Roller B. Water pump B6A. There it is. Water pump pulley. Two of those. I think it needs like four of these. Oh yeah, these timing covers. And the engine head cover. By the roller? I didn't buy the roller, did I? Nope. Bound to need a bunch of belts, too, and a crankshaft pulley. It's waiting for this. What print? It's waiting for this timing cover. Pulley V8. This is bound to be a belt tensioner right there. And there's something that goes there. I knew there was a power steering pump that went on this thing somewhere. Okay, so we just need the caps. I think this thing probably takes ignition coils too. It does. After I looked at those uh, head covers, they had the they had the collars for ignition oils. Especially since I haven't installed a distributor cap in the system on this thing. Not like the, uh, the 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 B6C has. Yeah, so I need to go buy coils, 
And that should be it, actually. These coils should be the last parts I need to buy. Just a regular starter. should be done. What do we got? 100% across the board. Yep, we're done. Now we can go test the thing. It looks better now that it's not all rusty and beat up. I don't really like the hatchback look, though. It looks kind of... I don't know. Yeah. It reminds me kind of that, um, what was that other thing, that Porsche Pan America? I saw one of them the other day driving around town, the, the Porsche sedan, I guess. From the front, it looks kind of like a 911. From the back, it's got like a, a trunk hatchback sort of thing.
Let's see what it looks like inside. you could close the door from the inside though. Just it doesn't make any sense that you can't. Okay, let's take it for a drive and see what happens. change. That's a tiny bit disappointing. The 911 Carreras, uh, the 911 Carrera 4S is close to $500,000 when it's done. And even the 911 Turbo and the 911 RS are like $250,000, $300,000. So that's a little bit disappointing that that's as low as it is. I mean, still, it's not a bad payday, but they're definitely ones that I would prefer to get. Okay, so that will bring this episode to a close. Next time we will next time we will lovingly rebuild this Mustang Mach 1 that I've been waiting for for so long. And I hope you're all here to see it. So, if you've uh, made it this far, thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed the video. And I hope to see you again for our next junkyard adventure. So on that note, bye for now.